now, heart disease remains the number one cause of death for women around the world, across all ages, communities, and colors. But this morning, we're learning women only make up 30% of the participants in clinical trials for treatments. And there was a study published last year that found 86 commonly prescribed medications had different results in women than men. So we wanted to know what's being done to address these differences. Tanisha Cordell joining us live this morning. Tanisha, now local doctors are helping to find a solution to this. Absolutely. You know our girl crew is fighting for, for girl power, right? <laughs> and that's exactly what these Cleveland Clinic doctors are doing as well, really shining a light on these issues, trying to spread awareness. And th their latest study is doing just that, highlighting some ways to push women to the forefront of these clinical trials. When it comes to heart disease, women have a higher risk of developing certain types and often show different symptoms compared to men. Yet Cleveland Clinic doctors say clinical trials seem to be taking a one size fits all approach, searching for treatments and meds prescribed to help. Women make up a very few um, number of patients that are enrolled in trials. The rate of female participation in some cardiology trials have even dropped over the last couple of years, which is really um, concerning. But why? Well, a few things. Differential care is one. Oftentimes women are not referred to specialty centers for treatment. In order to um, you know, become aware of the trials or even be considered for a trial, you have to be seen in a specialty clinic and women are less likely to do that. We're told lack of awareness and inconvenience are also to blame, but maybe the biggest reason of them all is trust. Surveys and studies have shown women are just more reluctant than men to participate in clinical trials. And those trials usually do not include many women of color. Every voice matters, every life matters. And so it's really important to include all people in clinical trials. The Cleveland Clinic hoping its research pushes regulators like the FDA and insurance companies to step up and pressure these drug companies to do their due diligence by including more women in their trials. Think about your kids and your grandkids and your granddaughters because um, they're, the, they're going to be the ones that benefit from this. Saving future generations of women. Now, if you want to be involved in one of these clinical trials, all you have to do, you can check out the website clinicaltrials.gov. You just fill in information about your condition, location, and you'll be pointed into the right direction. Katie. All right, so real quick, Tanisha, you did mention that women can present these symptoms differently than men do. Can you walk us through some of the most significant ones? Yeah, so I mean, some of these heart disease um, symptoms, both women and men will experience. I mean, when you're talking about things like heart uh, blockage, uh, you may feel chest pressure or tightness, like someone sitting on your chest. However, the difference is when it comes to women, they're more likely to report extreme fatigue, shortness of breath, and feeling like there's a lump in their throat when you know trying to exercise. So again, doctors really trying to push the importance of getting more women in those clinical trials so they can explore and research more of these things. Things, Katie yeah, and not ignoring those symptoms. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tanisha.